Hello YouTube, this is Outer Demon Darkness here with some really disturbing news. Um, today a man warned that there is a very large asteroid heading towards Earth and it will impact within the next seven days. There's plenty of sources now that are actually starting to talk about this. <clears throat> um, here it is, it says, Man warns of incoming asteroid that could change the world as we know it. March 19th, 2013. Says, my name is Raymond. I am a scientist working for various astronomy departments around the world, both public sectors and private sectors. I am not a conspiracy theorist. I am not one of those convinced that the moon landing was faked or 2012 Nibiru would hit the Earth. I look at facts. However, a few weeks ago, an asteroid 18 meters wide exploded 40 miles over a Russian town. Do you know what that would have done if it hit the Earth? It would have killed many thousands. The shock waves of the explosions were recorded across the world thousands of miles away. This isn't a theory or an assumption. These are facts. Now this is what we have seen. Now you know that that happened and everybody across the world has seen these things. And I've been talking about it in all my videos here on YouTube. Or most of my videos here on YouTube and on plenty of other, other factors. I've been trying to warn people, you know. We had asteroid DA-14 come close to our Earth on February 18th. You know, the Russian meteor, the meteor sighted over Japan on J January 20th and on Mar February 14th. We also had, you know, San Francisco on, on the 15th. We also had Florida the 16th, Cuba the 16th, you know, Louisiana, Texas on the 16th. You know, then we had asteroid 2013 ET come by, you know, March 9th with four other asteroids that were unnamed that passed by as well just in the past week. Okay, and then we also have Comet Lemon coming in in April, and then Comet Panstars, which is already na visible to the naked eye. Then Comet Ison coming in in November of this year. <clears throat> I mean, come on. Wake up here, people. I mean, we really, we really have to wake up here. I mean, get prepared. I mean, be prepared, you know. Pray to God. Be prepared. All right, and it says, The asteroid was part of a large body of smaller objects coming in from the asteroid belt. There is one which we have not detected until now, because A, we could not determine its exact projected path, and B, we did not want to scare people. Exactly two hours later, the faxes came through, the, came through from our U.S. observatory. The object half a mile wide is heading for Earth and will hit Canada or Mexico in the next seven days. Exact time and day will be added here later. This will be an extinction-level event. The blast itself will kill millions, and the rest of the living beings will be erased within a matter of months. Even when I heard the news, I did not believe it. I insisted on seeing a copy and asked them to recalculate everything. The calculations were sadly correct. So here I am to tell you all that these final days are ones to be embraced. Tell the ones around you that you love them. Pray to whichever God or higher faith you believe in. Please make amends with your enemies and spread the love and warmth. I'm sorry. I really am. Now, this is some really, really frightening news because also here on the mainstream media on, on BloombergBusinessWeek.com, NASA programmed to find asteroids in decade behind schedule. Now, this is a coincidence, isn't it? Okay, so now they're talking about an asteroid coming in and then this comes out. Same exact day, March 19th, 2013. The U.S. Space Agency is a decade behind its meeting, uh, behind in meeting a congressional mandate to detect meteors capable of destroying a city. It needs a telescope in space to improve tracking, the nation's top science officials said. NASA's leaders said most large asteroids that may trigger a global catastrophe have been found and tracked, and an impact within the next several centuries is unlikely. Smaller objects are harder to track, arrive more often, and are less lethal. Now, why would Bloomberg Business Week come out here, start talking about NASA program to help find asteroids? They're, they're behind schedule, decades behind schedule. You see what I'm saying here? There's, like, there's a little bit of a pattern going on right now. Unfortunately, the number of under or undetected potential city killers is very large. John Haldren, assistant to President Barack Obama for Science and Technology, said, Today, at a hearing at the House Science, Space, and Technology Committee, it's in the range of 10,000 or more. <coughs> then they go on here to talk about the Russian asteroid. Okay, and defending the planet against asteroids. 
you see here adequate warning now this is something that's pretty daggone crazy I think myself smaller objects such as the recent impact in Russia will also or always be difficult to detect and provide adequate warning Bolden said but if you really want to find and detect near-earth objects early enough that we can do something you need to have something in space and that would cost billions of dollars he said scientists are powerless if a large asteroid big enough to threaten civilization was found to be on course to collide with Earth in a few weeks, Bolden said. The answer to you is, if it's coming in three weeks, pray, he said. So now do you see what I'm saying? There's a little bit of a, of a pattern here. Okay, and then here we go. Fireball seen gliding across the Carolina sky Saturday night. Okay, Cleveland County, North Carolina. There are several reports from Saturday night on a meteor gliding across the Carolina skies. Eyewitnesses reported seeing a large, bulky meteor that split into several pieces. First warned storm spotter Stuart McDaniel caught it all on his sky camera. Folks, people, I'm just wake up here. This this is some serious news. And eventually the mainstream media is going to tell you, but they're going to tell you either after it hits, and we might not even have electricity, or they're going to tell you right before it hits so there's no panic in the streets. People, we, 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 we don't have much time left. I mean, look at all this stuff that's coming our way. Something has knocked <clears throat> these asteroids loose. Something ha it, 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 something's going on, okay? And nobody knows what's going on except for the government. Now, what's really, really shady about all this, okay? What's really, really shady about all this is Obama and Biden and a lot of our government officials are overseas right now. Okay, o Obama's in uh, Israel and Joe Biden is also in the Middle East, okay? Now, what does that tell you? Why are they over there? They know something's coming. And it's going to destroy us. But that side of the world's going to be okay. Now the underground bunkers they have here, they're going to store all their military crap, food, and all that other shit. And then across, excuse my French, but then across, you know the world, they have other bunkers that have already been built. They're ready for this. Folks, just please wake up. You know, pray to God. You know, be prepared. Get your, get your weapons that you need. Get the food. Get the water. You know, you don't have much time. You know, even if this is bogus information, it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Alright, folks. Alright, much love from Outer Demon Darkness here. You know, please be safe, everyone, and may God bless.